Okay, section two. Again, let's look at um, <clears throat> an exemplar uh, from the exam board. This one got 11 out of 12 uh, for the strengths and weaknesses comparison. It is described as having comprehensive coverage, including interactive dialogue, but it would benefit from a conclusion. So what they're saying here is this amount of work, and if you just look at this, uh, look at how dense that text is, how that text size looks on this page, uh, that's what it should be looking like for you. Um, however, there isn't a space down the bottom for a conclusion, so we would add to that our conclusion um, column on the right hand side. In fact, I'm pretty sure that we have that. No, we don't have that. Yes, we do. Hang on. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, your template does already include that for the uh, conclusion. So a little summary there uh, already picks up on that point. Let's just double check it. Now, um, get to back to business. Um, so uh, let's zoom in. So you should have uh, four different products. And as always said, those products should be ones that you have and that you can actually interact with, i.e. use. So this is two little images showing the product and it being used. This is a similar setup, the product it being used, uh, the product it being used. That's a nice, um, a nice way of approaching it there from this particular student. Um, I would suggest you do the same. That would be great. Now, they don't have, because this is actually a, a ring bound uh, example. They've done this, these two photos, though, um, because um, they can't show it being used by video, whereas you have that option. Uh, so it may be worth uh, you uh, having a insert uh, WMV video here that you've taken, with the product just being used quickly, maybe talked about for 10 seconds, something like that for each one. Um, you're not expected to do a video for each one, but when you start thinking, I'll have one video for one and not another, um, some people don't like the way that it starts looking. Uh, there's nothing to say you can't have uh, photos for some and a video for others. So I can't give you a fast, um, recommendation. Uh, what I would probably just suggest is you have two videos and two photos like this. Uh, if you want to do all videos, that's fine. Um, you can't do all photos though, there's got to be some video, uh, some video issue going on. Now, um, if you're wondering what to say about your products, then obviously you always look at the exemplars first, read what they're saying about the function the way they're saying it, uh, what they're saying about the materials, the manufacturing techniques, and just make sure that what you say about your product is in a similar vein to, to what is being described here. Bear in mind this one got 11 out of 12, so we're looking for a similar uh, style. Now, what they do do, because it does say you've got to have uh, interactive dialogue, I'm not sure you can read that, interactive dialogue you said there. Uh, what they've done, because it's a ring-bound uh, paper-based project, is they have this little sheet here, which I'd suggest is quite, uh, quite a quick way that you could do something similar. What you're doing is you're making sure that everyone can see you don't design with your head down by yourself. You're able to get up, you have good interpersonal skills, you recognise the importance of collaboration in design, and right from the start, you're asking other people what they think and taking it on board. So uh, this is a good way of doing it. So this um, sheet that you can print out and get someone else to write in, it's scribble it. You're not going to get judged on their handwriting. Um, you're going to say, please list and justify below any strengths you feel this product has. And then please list and justify any weaknesses you feel this product has. And then give your overall opinion on this product. Uh, that would be kind of perfect. Um, and then perhaps down the bottom, what I think about uh, these comments, and then it's kind of a conclusion, uh, and you can say whether you uh, agree or whether you helped you see in a different light or, or something, just a little bit blurbed in the bottom. Okay, um, I suggest you do this. It's a very quick thing that you can do uh, to, to stick in. 
uh, and then um, then a little, a little video clip perhaps of you asking someone a question and then saying what they think of it uh, would would be absolutely perfect uh, for, for you uh, if you don't do that um, it's difficult in here to actually squeeze in that you've definitely taken other people's points of view uh, on so that's why we're suggesting this extra page here um, in all seriousness I think this is 20 minutes work um, so it's, it needs to be done okay uh, so that's section two uh, strengths and weaknesses